Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, I forgot. I'm doing laundry, so we'll just, we'll just throw that out there. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I did some shopping this week. Not necessary shopping, like I did some splurging. I feel like I don't have to explain this anymore. I buy a lot of makeup and skincare, stuff I don't need. It's like my hobby, it's my job. Okay, let's just, why do we have to do the spiel every time? Me, I'm talking to myself. But I went to Sephora yesterday and I got some stuff I'm really excited about and I figured I would do a video and show you guys because I really like hauls. I really like when people, like whenever someone's like, you wanna see what I got from Sephora? Like on Instagram or on a video, I'm like, yes I do. Okay. I'll start here because if you're like, if your first thought was like, oh, what's that eyeshadow? Um, it's this. So I got this Huda Beauty in Emerald Obsessions and the color I'm wearing is this color here and then I have this in the inner corner. Um, it's just like a green palette. I'm not normally a green person. Like this is not something I would see and pick up. I do love these two colors, but I'm not into like the emeralds so much. I am a big fan of reading a lot of the beauty blogs, like Into the Gloss, Birdie, The Strategist. One of the beauty writers for The Strategist, Rio Vera Newton, I follow her on Instagram. She did an article about like the perfect mint eye. She like follows this makeup artist and saw this look that she did and she like kind of hounded her and asked what the products were. So she did like a full product breakdown and um, like recreated the look. So this was the palette that the artist used and I kind of did the same thing. Saw what she got, saw the look, and was like, well, I wanna recreate it. I have two others, I believe. I have at least one, I think I have two of the Huda Beauty palettes and they're really nice eyeshadows. They're like small and compact and they're they're really nice. So really happy with this. So that's something I got. Um, I got another eyeshadow and it's funny because I was just talking about how I'm not normally into the greens or the emeralds and this one is emerald. So I'm seeming like a liar, but I swear. So this is by Hourglass. It is their Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow and it is in the shade Vivid and I, just this was too pretty to pass up so it comes like this it has this like little like plastic thing to like press it down it's one of those like pressed pigments that like feels like a powder but also feels like a cream it's like one of those weird hybrids um but it's so pretty so 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 pretty i'm gonna do a little swatch because you'll be able to just see why i bought it even though i'm not really into the khakis because it's just Positively gorgeous. I don't know if it's really, I always swatch it like in an impossible way to like turn my hand. So I don't know if you can tell through the camera, but it is like ex exceptional. It's super, super shimmery, really, really pretty. And um, so I got it. They have a bunch of other colors. They're all equally stunning, but this is the one that really spoke to me and I decided to try it out before I go and get multiple colors. I also picked up this multi-stick by Ilia. I think that's how to pronounce it. I think Ilia is like one of their clean brands at Sephora, which is nice. So this one is um, cruelty-free, it's gluten-free, um, and then you know I'm a sucker for cream blush, so I just can't have enough, especially in stick form. They're just my favorite. So this one I got in the shade Tenderly, and I'm wearing it now on the cheeks. It's this like really pale pink. Again, this is not something I need. I have so many cream blushes, especially in stick form. But this one was just such a pretty color, and it's super sheer and subtle. And I just thought this would be a really pretty like everyday color. That's what, what it looks like blended in. And I wore it today for the first time, and I really like it. It's not so showing up super pigmented on camera and honestly it's not super pigmented IRL either um, but I like it like that it gets just like a good everyday and it's a multi sticks so you can use it on lips or eyes but I usually most mostly use these um, just on the cheeks um, but so yeah I'm really excited about these they do have a few other colors so I do like this a lot so far so if it ends up we wearing really well I think I can see myself going back and getting more colors but so far I really love this and again, this is tenderly. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because I feel like far away from you guys. Um, 
Okay, I got these two other products. They're out of the box because I've been using them since yesterday. They are by Tarte. You guys know I like really am not a fan of Tarte's packaging. Like it's just a little too flashy. It's a little bit too, I don't know. It's just not my style. I like more clean, simple packaging, muted colors. I think it's more geared towards a younger demographic, which makes sense because I do think that the packaging is a little bit younger, but, um, but not a huge deal. Honestly, the times where I've like overlooked the packaging and purchased something from Tarte anyway, I've ended up loving the product. So it's about what's inside, not on the outside, but figured I'd mention that because not a fan. This is also like a regular lipstick, but like wrapped in cardboard. It feels like one of those disposable straws um, or not like, yeah, those like paper straws. That's kind of like the, what it reminds me of. So it feels like it's like, I don't know, not that sturdy, but I got, all right, so <laughs> a while ago I ordered some stuff on Sephora. I think like I just replaced my Olaplex uh, mask and um, I had like a bunch of points so I never use them because they're just, I don't know, Sephora is bullshit <laughs> to be honest. But um, I had a bunch of points and I just was like, well, let's see what they have. And they had like a mini version of this one and it's, sorry if I didn't mention what these are. <laughs> these are the Rainforest of the Sea quench lip rescue so basically they're just tinted balms um so they had like a sample size of this one in the shade nude and i was like oh, i'll try it i love the tinted balm um so i got a sample of it and freaking fell in love with it and then um tried to order it online and then it was sold out so i think they're back in stock online i just checked and um they did have them in store and so this is the one in the shade nude and they're so pretty they're like kind of minty oops I've like run out of places to swatch. Um, they're really sheer. They're so glossy and hydrating. So that's nude. So again, like not a lot of color, but just enough. And then because I love it so much, I got um, the shade Rose as well. And um, that one is right here and I'm wearing it today. And it's just so pretty. It doesn't stay on long at all. Like it's definitely something to reapply, but I don't mind reapplying. Um, balms so that's the rose on the bottom you can see it has a little bit more color I don't mind reapplying things like this I tend to constantly put on lip balm all day so the fact that I'd be re reapplying this is like not a big deal um, I'm definitely gonna be keeping these in my purse however because it is summer I will have to be careful with these because they do melt when I ordered this um, online in this in this as a sample size I took it right out of the box and like put it on and it like was smearing and I had to like put it in my fridge for a couple hours to like re-harden it because it had been like outside in the box like sitting in the sun. So these do melt so keep that in mind. However, so 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 good. Um, so if you haven't tried these, definitely check them out. Okay, another lip product. I got a Pat McGrath lipstick. Her stuff is very expensive, however, it's gorgeous. It's very well made. She really puts a lot of thought in the packaging and the pigment. It's really good quality stuff, but definitely like out of a lot of people's price points, honestly. It's more than I like to spend often, um, but I had never tried one of her lipsticks and I was really dying to, and I saw this shade, 1995. And I love all things 90s. I know that's like kind of cliche at this point, but I do. It was a really good era. I really loved the makeup um, and I really liked this color. So I got this. This is a nude. It's supposed to be like a 90s nude, but okay. So here it is. Look how pigmented this is. Like I'm gonna swatch it again. One swipe. Wait, okay, that was a bad swatch. <laughs> My hand was like wrinkled. Okay, one swipe so pigmented like when i put it on i was honestly like I, it was jarring like i was like not used to this you really don't want to like swipe it more than once or otherwise it starts to look like you have so much lipstick on so i was like kind of blown away i've never experienced a lipstick like this it's very different it has like a sem like i wouldn't say a matte finish i don't know if it's supposed to be matte it does it is it's their matte trance lipstick so it's supposed to be matte I wouldn't say it's like a drying matte. It definitely has like some moisture in it, but it's there's no shine. Really pretty color. What I've been doing is kind of like blotting it on. I've been trying everything since yesterday. I have like no patience. I was like gonna wait and try everything, you know, so that everything would be all pristine and new for you guys, but I can't. 
but look how pretty that looks like once it's blended in it looks like kind of powdery and like a stain so really good really good stuff so if you if you have the budget and you want to try out one of her lipsticks i highly recommend okay so while i was in the checkout line i'm such a sucker for their grab and go stuff because they have so much stuff there and when you're like waiting in line ugh, they really know how to get you so i got my fresh soy face cleanser i've used this for years i know i've showed you guys this but i've actually been trying out a different cleanser for a while i've been using the kate somerville um exfoliate cleanser um so i've been trying that for a while because i remember using it years back when it first came out and really liking it however it's not really working out for me this time because i think my skin has just changed it's gotten more dry um, so it's just a little bit too drying for me. So I'm almost finished it. I'm trying to use it up because it's not a bad cleanser. It's just like a little bit too much for me. So while I was in line, I got this little sample size because um, I just missed it. <laughs> but I felt guilty like getting a full size cleanser while I still have cleanser left. If that makes sense. It doesn't make any sense. So this I got by IGK. This is their first class charcoal detox dry shampoo. I read um, a recommendation for this on birdie and i just ran out of my dry shampoo so i figured i'd try this one but um i got the smaller size versus the full size because sometimes dry shampoo just doesn't work for me like depending on the formula sometimes it can be like too white now that like my hair is dark that definitely is a factor for me sometimes it's just like doesn't get enough of the oils out um but anyway so I, i'm i got this i used it a bit today um it definitely felt like really good almost like wet which makes me think that there's like a high like alcohol content to this um like maybe more than usual and but maybe it's the charcoal i don't know but i used this today so far so good um let me know if you guys have tried this and if it's like good or what your favorite dry shampoo is because god knows i need it Okay, so I got, I picked up my conditioner also. This is the Olaplex number no. five. It's their bond maintenance conditioner. Um, I was just using some other products. I did, I really love their whole line. I have their mask, I have their leave-in, like conditioner treatment thing. Um, I had their shampoo and conditioner. Like I've had all of their stuff and I do get like Olaplex treatments at the salon. It's life-changing if you have like dry damaged hair. Um, but I, was just trying other shampoos and conditioners and I was just finding like my hair was still feeling really dry. So I went back to this and I'm really glad because this is just such a good conditioner and um, you don't get a ton of product in there but I do find that it goes a long way because you don't have to use a lot. So if you have dry, damaged hair, Olaplex. Okay, another product I got from Natasha Denona. I feel like I hear mixed signals about this line. Like it's expensive and a lot of the people are like the quality doesn't justify the price um i haven't tried enough of her stuff to speak on that but i really love like a, the look of a lot of her products but i'm always deterred by like the reviews being like this sucks so if anyone like loves her products or like is like absolutely not it sucks let me know but this is the first thing i've tried of hers and just from like swatching it alone it seems really nice this is her Chroma Crystal Top Coat, and it is in the shade Metal Bronze. So again, it's like another one of those um, pressed pigments that like feel almost creamy. This one is bronze with like a really distinct gold shimmer. And this pigment is nice. So I can't speak on all of her other stuff, but this one seems really nice. I'm excited to try it but it's really pretty. I'm a sucker for bronzy shades and uh, I'm excited about this one. I have three things here that are not from Sephora, but there are things that I recently purchased. So I figured I would just throw them in here and show you guys. Um, so I got these, I briefly talked about them on an Instagram story, but I got these two masks from Renee Rouleau. She is like a celebrity esthetician in Texas, I believe. And you know, like a lot of like celebrities like Demi Lovato uses her stuff. I see her products written up on like Birdie and Into the Gloss and things like that. So I've been like really, really curious to try her products and her website's really cool. This is going to sound sponsored, but it's not at all. Um, her website has like all her products, but there's also like a quiz. So she has like a theory that like everyone has a skin type. It's like one through 
eight or nine, I believe. You can take the quiz and it will tell you like what's your skin type and then it'll show her products recommended for that skin type. And so I took her quiz. I'm a skin type seven. And what I like about her products is like, there's not a lot of filler stuff. Like she puts like the active ingredients that are essential. She puts like the kind of preservatives that are needed to keep it stable. And like, that's it. Like there's just like the, all of the ingredient lists are fairly short. And, um, so I really like that. She's like, she seems like she knows what she's doing. Um, the packaging isn't like very exciting, unfortunately, but you know, like I said, it's about what's in there. So, so this was a mask duo from her website and it's the triple, you can buy them separately, but I got like the package. Um, it's the triple berry soothing peel and this is an exfoliating peel and it looks like strawberry jam and it smells like, like sour, like preserves, like it's. It has like seeds of like raspberries in it or something too. But this is nice. It's very gentle. I have used it a few times because I got this about I got this about two weeks ago. So I've used it twice. They recommend um, twice a week. It is very gentle. You do feel a little bit of the tingling, but I think it would be good for people with sensitive skin as well because it's not like a harsh like like really strong acid. It uses like fruit acids and things. So really like that. And then I follow up with the rapid response detox mask, which is for like clearing out the pores. I get a lot of congestion and blackheads. So um, once a week I've been doing these and so far I've been seeing good results. This one is like a gel and it has like gold shimmers running through it. And this one smells so good to me. It has like a very medicinal smell. It's mostly I think the tea tree oil is what I'm picking up on. There's like tea tree oil, there's like willow bark, I think there's like salicylic acid. So this is great if you have congestion or breakouts. Um, so I've been using, you can see like there's a good dent in it. So I've been using both of these um, once or twice a week and yeah, this one smells so good. Last product I got, I got this off Amazon and this is like not a new product, especially not to YouTube. This is the Nukes Multi-Purpose Dry Oil for Face, Body and Hair. So obviously this is like a cult product, especially in France. Um, I ordered this off Amazon, but you can get it other places. Like I've seen it around. Um, they, they have ones that come with like a spray bottle and I thought that's what I was ordering, but it's the one that doesn't have a spray bottle and you have to shake it. So I was like really annoyed, but so far it hasn't deterred me. Um, I've used so much of it. I've literally had it for like two weeks, but what I've been doing is I keep this in my shower. And my new nightly routine has been like showering every night. Like normally I'll either like shower at night or in the morning and I'm kind of just like whatever about it depending on what my schedule is. Um, but I've been like strictly showering at night as a way to like wind down before bed. And I've been making it like a whole ritual. And um, my body gets very, very dry, but I'm really lazy with like applying lotions and oils. So I've been keeping this in my shower and I turn the water off and before I like get out and towel off, I just shake this into my hand and apply it all over my whole body and then I like wrap myself in a towel and just like wait for it to dry and sink in. And first of all, it smells so good. Second of all, it has not caused any clogged pores or breakouts. I'm really prone to them on my chest, like between my boobs, um, if I use something like too heavy there. And it smells amazing. So I feel like whenever I smell it, it makes me like wanna like, it like lulls me to sleep. So whenever I like smell it, I just feel like super relaxed, so. So that's my whole haul. I hope this was um, fun and exciting. And let me know if you like a video like this, if you don't care about the hauls or if you want more hauls because I am constantly like bu buying stuff, picking stuff up here and there. And I'm happy to like do like a collective haul and like show you guys things I've purchased in the last month or whatever. So let me know if that's something you wanna see. Also, I have been like brainstorming ideas that I wanna do this summer like for videos. So if you have, Obviously, like I want you guys to enjoy what I put out. So if you guys have any like recommendations on things you'd like to see from me this summer, please sound off in the comments. I'm also going to be doing another ceramics drop very soon. My shelf is like filling up and it's time to unload. Um, so if you've ever been interested in purchasing any of my ceramics, follow me on Instagram because that is where I announce. And um, I think that's it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.